Good morning, church. I decided to put that song for you guys. Change things a little bit. Pastor, Lady Jazz, she's not here. Fellow musicians, praise team, AV Kum, God bless you all. Yes, today I'm the chosen one. I'll be, I'll be quick since I unfortunately I've got to go to work. I start with faith, the complete trust and all confidence in someone or something. That's the Bible. Sorry, that's the dictionary. But for me, it means much more. I'm surrounded by the energy of faith. Faith to me is a strong belief in God's doctrine. By that I mean his instructions, his life instruction of whom we are to be. He created us as his own image with a set of instructions. We are to stay positive and put our trust in him because he will never fail us. Only positive outcomes can be experienced through him and through him nothing will be impossible to accomplish. Have faith and trust him. My faith in him is closely tied to the power of energy. I call it the power of the mind. In creating us, I call it, sorry, in creating us, he gifted us with a mind to be used and call upon every time we want to achieve goals and other successes while maintaining the notion of becoming the best human being we can be and possibly become. All physical reality is made up of energy vibration, including your thoughts, which in return has a powerful influence on your life. Mind power is the strongest, most powerful, and most useful power you possess. To achieve all goals in life, you have to be strong in here. In line with positive thoughts, in line with your body, your spirit, and character. It is through being strong from your energetic mind and faith you carry within you that you will have success in life's battle. With God, everything is possible. Yes, it is. But it also implies that without doing your sacrificial part, God may not be there to help you every time. Growing up in Haiti, I used to hear a lot, et toi, et je t'aidera, which translates, to help yourself and God will help you in return for your hard work, dedication, to your part, act. Very important, you have to act first and reap the rewards of him being there alongside with you. Reaching those goals. There may be a delay in reaching your idea of success, but believe it, that delay is there to serve you and protect you. It measures your thoughts through your mind. It battles all evilness, doubts, anxiety, low self-esteem, and other negativities that us as sinners we carry. It helps to prepare you for the task ahead with one objective. How strong and dedicated you have to be to achieve your definition of success. Notice that I use the word your definition because not everyone's definition of success are the same. We are all created equal, but our mind think differently, which makes us, all of us, unique I believe here, in this area, you guys say what floats your boat <laughs> may not float somebody else's boat. But put your mind and energy into your wishes and have faith. Believe and see miracles happening. Don't give up at the first sight of failure. 
Stay the course. Re-energize yourself. Re-energize your mind. A simple vision, a picture, a touch, a demonstration, a thought can bring you back to reach your pursuit of happiness and success. The power and energy of your mind is intimately tied to your creator, a Holy Spirit and energy of his own, whom only wants the absolute best for you. Just have faith and watch the reward comes through. With that same faith and power of energy, hand in hand, your spirit can achieve any and everything you wish to accomplish. You have got to believe it because one thing is for sure. God believes in you. God bless you. Thank you. And good day, mates. <laughs>